Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are starting a new cup. I am going to use this vinyl um, and we're going to do a V split with it, but I'm actually going to use it at this angle. Um, it'll just put the bouquet slightly sideways, but that'll give me less overall vinyl waste. So that's the direction I'm going to go. Um, so I'm kind of just going to wrap it roughly where I want it just to get my sizing. So I'm going to take a pen and just mark, you know, kind of where I'm going to cut it. We'll get it lined up better than that shortly, but so I'm going to use this vinyl. I'm going to use this decal. I'm going to use this glitter because this is a clear de or a white printed decal, it will show over this glitter. And I think I'm going to pull a black glitter also for the V. So, but for right now, we're going to do the vinyl and we're going to do the top portion of the glitter. For the glitter, we're going to mix Mod Podge with paint. So, let's get the vinyl trimmed first. because you do want it to end up kind of straight and even. Um, this vinyl and the decal are from Butterfly Lane Designs. I'll have a link in the description as well as my coupon code. I'm going to trim off the excess to bring it back to the square print. And I'm working on a 30 ounce skinny straight on this one. So, okay. Pull in my big mat for just a minute. So I'm going to pick a number and line this up straight, corner to corner. And so it's at the 11 line, top and bottom, which should put my <laughs> my sides a little below the eight. So grab my straight edge. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this on the seven line. I need my longer straight edge, but I don't know where it is. So we're just going to do our best. I'm going to grab a second second straight edge and I'm just lining this up super carefully on that line and these two should be pretty even together I'm gonna grab my exacto knife and just cut along that line So, that should give me a fairly even piece of vinyl if you line up your points. I'm not actually going to fold it, but you can see that it's pretty even, pretty straight, so I'm good with that. And I have maximized what I have left of this vinyl to still use for another project. So. I'm going to get my little thing in my bopper here. And I'm 
actually going to cut a chunk off of the backing paper on this one. And lay it back down on top with a little gap. Because for me, lining up the V-split that way tends to work better. And I'm just trying to keep it right above that fold line. And that looks like it's going to wrap fairly well. So we're just going to go ahead and go with that. Um, when I do this style of wrap in particular, I let the back be seamless. And I do have a couple bubbles that's on me. But I let the back be seamless and I um, leave the overlap in the front. So I'm going to see if I can work the bubbles out. If not, vinyl's pretty forgiving. Um, I can pull this back up. Pass the overlap. This vinyl does have some stretch to it, so. Be careful if you pull it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and relay this side. My overlap's gonna end up on the other side, which doesn't really matter design-wise. I just don't want this flapping around while I'm working the bubbles out on the other side. So, now, did I go far enough to get to the bubbles? No, I did not. So I'm gonna peel a little bit more. Okay, so what I'm going to do is tape off where my V is going to be, but I kind of want to see, um, and so I do have tons of room here, so I can actually, I normally use my one inch tape. I'm going to go ahead and use my little bit fatter tape on this one. And what we're going to do is line it up right on the edge of our vinyl. And that's not quite perfect. It's really not going to be the end of the world, I promise you. Make sure we get our seam really good there. The amount of overlap down here really doesn't matter. And here you're going to want to trim twice.
that way and this way make sure your point is down really good all right so I'm gonna double check and verify that my decal will still fit and it will so we're going to proceed so for this one I'm gonna use Mod Podge to apply my yellow brick road glitter but I'm going to mix it in with King's Gold paint. A little bit of Mod Podge in the cup. By tinting your Mod Podge, your base color, um, you'll get a good match. And generally, it'll only take one coat. I just touched that on a mica. Um, I recommend putting a coat on, letting it dry a bit so your base color is more vibrant than doing a second coat and then doing your glitter. So Mod Podge and paint dry a little bit Mod Podge and paint glitter so that is what we are going to do just to get a little bit better of a coverage you can also if you wanted to paint a layer of the paint directly on the cup but so I'm gonna let this dry a minute or two okay my second coat is on and wet so I'm just going to apply the glitter Nothing fancy, just a regular application of glitter. I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape immediately. Because you don't want that drying into your Mod Podge. I have a little bit of bleed there. Don't worry about that because we're going over it. And I believe I will have a little bit of bleed at the point, but we'll see. Yep. So there's a nice clean edge. I'm going to let this dry thoroughly. Uh, drying time on Mod Podge is going to be entirely dependent on your environment. Um, it is really hot today and somewhat humid so the humidity is going to make it dry a little bit slower but the heat is going to make it dry pretty fast but you absolutely do not want to seal over wet Mod Podge uh, you'll end up with um, almost a white coming through and it just won't look good so make sure this is dried thoroughly I am going to spray seal it two or three times with Rust-Oleum clear gloss and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do this layer. I'm going to spray it with the gloss because it is Mod Podge, not epoxied on. And I don't want it to travel into my black. I want to keep a crisp line. So I'll be back after it is spray sealed. What I'm going to do, because I'm doing black glitter and this is white, is I'm going to take a little bit of acrylic paint. And this is called pavement. It's not actually a black paint, but... It's the black I have handy, so I'm just going to give it a quick coat. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for a bit and then I will be back. Okay, so this is dry. I am ready to move on. I still have my little cup of paint. I'm going to add some Mod Podge right to that. This is just regular gloss Mod Podge. I'm going to paint it on.
Okay, so I'm gonna grab my papers, grab my glitter. I'm gonna use the holographic Baby Got Black from It's Pretty Personal. really shouldn't be any sticking in the yellow because the yellow was sealed. So I'm going to let the Mod Podge dry thoroughly. I'm going to take it out and Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Spray this glitter in place. Then we'll come back in and get a coat of epoxy on it. And actually, I don't know if I said I was going to do the bottom before, but I think I want to do the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. Okay, we are finally going to finish this beauty up. Me, I'm all set up to water slide, and then I remember that this is a VC decal from Butterfly Lane, so pay no attention to the water. I'm going to trim this down. I think I'm going to do my pinstripes first, though. So now we play the color game. Do I want to go with the green or the bright gold? Kind of feeling the bright gold on this one, but I'm going to do the thinner strip. It can go over any color. Uh, she calls them VC decals on her butterfly lanes designs. Um, website. I'll get there. I promise. I want the B kind of centered, so the word kindness is going to end up a little bit over to the side, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to use my felt squeegee, rub it down really good, and how cute is that? Okay, I'm going to get the coat on this one. Hopefully, final coat. My resin is starting to get warm, so I'm going to move pretty quickly. I will put my link and my coupon code for Butterfly Lane Designs down below. Um, you cannot use the coupon code on the subscription boxes if you do that, but you can use it on anything else. So, that is it. I'm going to get this torch in a minute, but first I'm going to bring it up to show you. So you can see what I mean about that yellow showing up. And that gorgeous vinyl she prints and the two glitters from IPP. And I love the way I did that. It looks kind of like a scrub top, the way the pinstriping overlaps. So I am really pleased with this overall. It looks like I have a little tiny piece of my pinstripe stuck in there though. So I am going to see if I can snag that on the way around because I'm pretty sure that's what that was. I could be wrong though. It absolutely is. Good catch. It was upside down, so it didn't stand out as much. But that is it for this one. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. 
and I will see you in the next video.